Okay, here's the uh, second part of my pug review. Uh, I just put 50 rounds through it. Um, here's the silhouette. As you can see, I hit to the left and mostly down. Uh, when I was aiming at the X, I, I kind of scattered here. I ended up grouping pretty good near the end. Um, I'll let you know a little later how I did that. Here I was kind of aiming for the 7, so again I shot down here. And here I was aiming for the face, and it was mostly to the left. Um, at this distance, um, my 642, I would have hit, you know, right in here. Definitely within the 9s, probably close to the X. So, it's a little tricky to get used to. Um, I'll load it with the spent shells, just so I can dry fire it <coughs> without harming it. Um, but you've probably seen other videos how to load it. You don't need to know how to do that, but... This way the hammer's not dropping right on the on the rim there. It's actually gonna hit some brass. Now one of the, the tricks here, it's very hard to load without sweeping yourself. So um I'll try to show you how I do it. Um of course you find the notch, you kinda half cock it. Sometimes you gotta cock it back a little more. If it's half cocked, one knot, one click, you can't pull the trigger. Right, that's how you're supposed to load it and unload it that way with a half cock. Okay, and you kind of line it up this way. It's real tempting to want to look down here to line that up, but of course now you're staring right down a, a loaded gun and with a single action it's real easy if you're messing with the hammer to shoot yourself in the face. That's obviously bad for your health. So, um, even when you're putting this guy in, it's easy if your finger's out here. See now, it's, I'm sweeping my finger. So you really got to kind of be careful and keep this thing down range um, as you load it. Now it's loaded. Now here's the trick with this little guy. It's hard to get a grip on it. Um, I might try the Black Widow handle, which has, you can get two fingers on. This one at the most you can get one. And I have these real fat fingers, so it's extra tough for me. But um, what you don't want to do is get your whole finger wrapped around like this. Because then, when you pull, you kind of pull to the left. You can tell by my groups I was doing that. So what you want to do is move your finger out and just use the very tip of your finger, like that. So, when you fire, just try to keep it steady. Uh, but it's still hard because now I, I've only got, you know, the side of my thumb on there. And then I got this finger kind of wrapped around. So it's still going to be braced a lot more on one side than the other. Um, it's going to take some practice as far as how I can get this thing pressured uh, right. But it's still, it's difficult. So it's turning out to be sort of a belly gun. I mean, even if I get the technique right, um, under stress, your technique is going to suck. And at least it's going to be half as good as what it is when you're aiming. So really... You know, it's for right up close, and I guess that's what you should consider it anyway. But it's more of a technique thing, and I won't blame the gun as much. Uh, there's a YouTube video of a guy shooting a metal plate, you know, 100 yards out. So it's possible, but it's definitely unlikely. So, um, shooting it, uh, I said uh, I heard these were loud. It wasn't that loud, probably because of the short barrel. Uh, the kick wasn't that bad either. I expected a lot more. Uh, the 642 is a lot more peppy than this guy is. So, really just getting the hang of the accuracy is my only issue with it right now. But that's more my own fault than the gun.